Hello, here we go. Okay, so you hear me, but not the game. Oh, boy. How about now, a buckshot? Can you hear that sound? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Anybody? Delay, delay. All right, so you hear me now, okay. Cool. All right. Welcome to more continued Feel the Dreams action here on... Uh... Okay, perfect. So we have Lehigh versus the Lehigh Lizards versus the Dallas Diamonds. Lehigh is coming in at 27-25. Dallas is first place, I believe, at 32 and 21. Um, just uh, so starting off in the elf, in the field for, for Dallas, homestanding Dallas at Crosley Field. We got Leon Wagner at left, Bobby Tolan center, Buck Freeman in right, Fred McGriff at first. Sec, uh, Mark DeRosa at second, Ryan Terrio at short, Tony Perez at third, and behind the plate with Bob Stinson. On the mound is Cy Young, who is, uh, let's see, this season he's 7-5 and five already with a 2.86 ERA. He's going to be coming against the, fall, the lineup for the Lehigh Lizards. We have Craig Biggio leading off, Cecil Cooper. Jeff Bagwell, George Foster, Willie Mays, Rico Petroselli, Ken Caminiti, Dixie Walker, and Russell Martin. Uh, okay, so here we go. So Cy Young is going to get ready in these for, to pitch the Biggio. Here's the pitch. And he gets a base hit to right field. So he leads off, lead off single for Biggio off of Cy Young. And here comes Cecil Cooper. He's six foot, uh, I'm sorry, sitting 284 with six homers and 22 RBIs. And BGO goes and steals the base uncontested. So it's his 23rd steal of the season. And we got an 0-1 count here to Cooper. And he floats one over the second baseman into center field for a base hit that's going to score BGO. It's one to nothing quickly for Lehigh. And that brings up Jeff Bagwell, who's hitting 279, 12 homers and 35 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And here's a line drive. He hits a single. That's going to be a, oh, it's, I'm sorry, it's a double. Into center field. Uh, so it's second and third with nobody out yet. Tenth double of the season for Bagwell. And here comes George Foster. 14 homers, 39 RBIs with a 246 average. And he strikes him out. So Cy Young rears back. So we got one out. Runners at second and third. And here's Willie Mays. And he hits a grounder to DeRosa. Great play at second. Throws the first. And there's another a, a run score. So it's two to nothing now. Runner at third now, two outs. Rico Petroselli is here up to bat with 239 average, seven homers and 28 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball to left field. It's got, Wagner's going back, and he makes the catch in front of the, in front of the hill in left field. And that ends the first inning, the top of the first. So here we go. It's 2 nothing now, Lehigh, and the Dallas Diamonds are coming to bat. First in the field, we have George Foster in left, Willie Mays in center. Dixie Walker in right, Cecil Cooper at first, Craig Biggio at second, Petroselli at short, Caminiti at third. Behind the plate, we have Russell Martin. And Mark Mordecai Brown is on the hill. He is 3-3 three and three with a 2-5-4 ERA this season. And we have Bobby Tolan, David Justice at DH, Tony Perez, Fred McGriff, Leon Wagner, Mark DeRosa, 
Buck Freeman, Ryan Terrio, and Bob Stinson. And Bobby Tolan leads off. Uh, he's batting 280 with a homer and 20 RBIs so far this season. Here's the pitch from Mordecai Try Brown. Play. And he strikes him out. So here we go, David Justice. And he strikes him. Three-finger Brown strikes out two the first two batters he faces. And here comes Tony Perez, who's having a hell of a season so far. 16 home runs, 39 RBIs, and a 272 average. Try and he strikes out the side. Mordecai Brown. One, two, three, three strikeouts. That brings up uh, Ken Caminiti, only hitting 197, four homers and 15 RBIs. And Cy Young rears back and throws, and Caminiti flies out to Buck Freeman at right field, out number one. Oh, and Stinson's injured, but he stays in the game behind the plate. So he's got reduced effectiveness of 10%. Here comes Dixie Walker, who's batting 272 with a homer and five RBIs. And here's a ground out of DeRosa, makes the play to McGriff with out number two. Russell Martin comes to the bat with 184 average, five homers, and 15 RBIs. And strikes him out. That does it for Lehigh in the second. And up to bat comes Fred McGriff, 255 average, six homers, 27 RBIs. He makes the pitch from Three Finger Brown. And Fred McGriff lefts a single over Bridgie. Oh. He goes for a double, actually. He stretches it into a double over Biggio's head, and he was hustling all the way. He's there for two. So here's Leon Wagner. First hit off of Mordecai Brown in the game. So here's Leon Wagner's up, and he hits a fly ball to right field. Dixie Walker ranging back, makes the catch. Fred McGriff gets back to second. The throw to third on the tag up, and he's safe. So close play, but uh, McGriff made, beat it there. So he's a, he reaches third base with one out, and his Mark DeRosa. Six homers, 25 RBIs, and a 251 hitter. And he floats one over Biggio's head into right center field for a base hit. It's going to drive in the first run for Dallas. So it's now two to one game. And Buck Freeman's up. He is hitting 227, seven homers, 25 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And he hits a long drive deep to left, but Foster's ranging back and has it in front of the wall, in front of the hill in left field. And it's out number two. Let me just change something here. I thought I had done this before. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Sorry, I'm just going to do something. Uh, oh, that's not it. Sorry. There we go. Oh, that's that's a little too big. Sorry. <laughs> I, want to, I want to fix the photos here. Um, there we go. And we'll just do one more thing. Sorry. I just want to change one more thing. Display options rules. And one quick thing, sorry. All right, here we go. So we got the nice play cards that Steve Tate uh, created here. Now with the team logos on the on the right hand side, uh, updated as of currently. So here we go. Ryan Terrio is up to bat against Mordecai Brown. Here's the pitch, and he hits a shot through past Petroselli for a base hit. And DeRosa is going to be thrown out at third base. He made the turn at second, was going all the way to third, and got thrown out by Wagner. So we got that ends the inning. So makes the final out at third base. It's kind of a no no in this uh, in, in baseball. So we go to the top of the third, two to one, Lehigh. So Cy Young faces Biggio, who is one for one so far. Here's the pitch, strikes him out, third strikeout. And he faces Cooper, who is also one for one. Is the pitch? Strike three. And he strikes out and drop third strike, play, throw to first, and he's out. So four strikeouts for Young to this inning. And here's the pitch to Bagwell, and he flies flies out to center field. Tolan's there, makes the catch. That quickly ends the one two three inning. Uh, we go to the bottom of the third, and his Dallas Diamonds coming up with Bob Stinson. 
batting 205, two homers, 15 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And he hits a line ball, a line shot up the middle for a base hit. Uh, we got So Stinson's at first. Bobby Tolan makes his way to the plate. He's 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. He lines out and Biggio makes the stab, and Stinson retreats back to first base in time. So it's one out. And David Justice comes up. It was 0 for 1. And he gets a shot, right uh, line shot through the hole in right field uh, for a base hit. So it brings up Tony Perez. Uh, he is 0 for 1 as well. And runners at first and second. Here's the pitch from Three Finger Brown. And he pops it up to shoot. And Russell Martin should have a play on this. And he does. And it's out number two. Great play by Russell Martin. Uh, and Fred McGriff comes up one for one with a double. Here's the pitch. And he hits a line drive. And Biggio snags that one as well. So that does it for the, the threat. After three, it's two to one Lehigh. Here's George Foster. 0 for 1. And he hits a fly ball left field, and Wagner is going to be there for the catch for out number one. And here comes Willie Mays, 0 for 1 as well. And he hits a long drive deep to center field, way back. Tolan looks up. It's over his head, over the wall, and it's gone. His 15th home run of the season, 388 feet, so it's now 3 to 1 Lehigh. Cy Young gathers himself, and Rico Petroselli's up. Take uh, what steps to the plate is 0 for 1. Hits a ground ball to Perez at third, throws over to McGriff at first for out number two. And here comes Ken Caminiti, 0 for 1 as well. Pitch and he hits a fly ball to right field. Buck Freeman runs it down the line and makes the catch to, to retire the side. But they get a run in the Willie Mays home run. It's now 3 to 1. And here's Leon Wagner to face Mordecai Brown. Here's the pitch. It's a fly ball of Willie Mays. Oh no, it's deep and it's a home run. Wow. That was a that was uh right over the right over the right center field near the light near the light stanchion. That thing just carried and carried. It looked like it might have been able to have a Willie Mays might have had a play on it, but not to be. And he hits home run number seven off of uh Mordecai Brown. It's now three to two. And Mark DeRosa's up is the pitch. Grounds it to Petroselli, throws the first out number one. And we have an injury here. Mark DeRose is out for the game, injured. So we'll have to under see who, who replaces him. Uh, Buck Freeman's up. He hits a fly ball to Dixie Walker, who makes the catch in front of the in front of the grandstand. A nice web gem. Bangs against the wall. And that's great play number five. Luckily, he didn't get hurt. And here comes Ther Terrio pitch and he hits a ground ball to Biggio makes the play to Cooper at first and that's the end of the inning and they get a run back so the fourth inning had two home runs one from each team and we go to the fifth it's now three to two Lehigh and here comes Dixie Walker pitch to Dixie and he hits a shot shot up the middle and Dixie Walker is going to stroll into second for a double, with a double with seventh and Russell Martin comes to the bat with the runner at second, here's the pitch. And he strikes him out. Fifth strikeout for Young. And here comes the Craig Biggio to the plate. He's one for two with a single in the first. And here's the pitch. And he grounds it to Perez. Close play at first. And he's going to be out, but Dixie Walker is going to take third on the throw. So it's set two outs, runner at third, and his Cecil Cooper up. One for two today. And he hits a single to run, driving another run. So Lehigh is staying ahead of Dallas here. Now 4-2. Uh, Rob B. I. single for Cooper. And here comes Jeff Bagwell. And he hits a ground ball to Perez. And he throws to second. Lemke for the out. Oh, as Lemke is. I'm sorry. Mark Lemke took second uh, to take uh, DeRose's place. So didn't mention that when it, when it happened. But all right. Here we go. Buck, uh, Bob Stinson takes the steps up to the plate to, fin to face three finger Brown. Here's the pitch, and he walks him. So he walks the catcher, ninth hitter of the, of the uh, in the lineup, and here comes Bobby Tolan. Here's the pitch, bumps it down to Mordecai Brown. Stinson Stinson makes his way to second, and Tolan's retired at first for the sacrifice. So Stinson gets to second base in scoring position. Here's David Justice. 
He is one for two with a single. Here's the pitch. Strike three. And he strikes him out. Fourth in the game from Mordecai Brown. And here comes Tony Perez, who's got some power. Here's the pitch. He hits a shot down the line in left field. It's in the corner. Foss is going after it. Stinson's going to score. Perez is going to go to second. And it's an RBI double, so they're just trading runs here. Lost two innings. Uh, so it's now four to three. And here comes Fred McGriff with a runner at second base. And he hits a fly ball to right field. And Dixie Walker doesn't have to move much and makes the catch to retire the side. We go to the sixth. It's now four to three, Lehigh. And here comes George Foster, 0 for 2. He pops it up. Ryan Terrio is getting under it, and he makes the catch for out number one. And Willie Mays is up, and he strikes him out. Rico Petroselli is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. He hits a ground ball to Lemke, throws to McGriff at first, and makes the play to retire the side. Finally, a scoreless inning for Lehigh as... Lost two before that. They had runs. And here comes Leon Wagner for Dallas to face Mordecai Brown. One for two. He flies out to Dixie Walker for out number one. And Mark Lemke's coming to the plate for the first time in the game. He's hitting 417 in limited action. Uh, only 12 at-bats. He's got five hits, though. So here's the pitch to Lemke. And he hits a shot to Petroselli. He scoops it up, throws the first, out number, one, out number two. And Buck Freeman makes his way to the plate. And here's the pitch. He walks him. So we got a runner at first, two outs, and Ryan Terrio's up, who's one for two. He hits a shot past Petroselli into left center field, and Freeman's going to make it to third. It's a two out single. So we got first and third, two outs, and Bob Stinson back up to, pl up to the plate. He's one for one with a walk. And he walks again, two walks. So two walks for the game. And Bobby Tolan comes to the bat with bases are loaded, two outs. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball to Foster. He should have it. That retires the side. The end is the threat. It's four to three still, Lehigh. And we go to the seventh. And here is Ken Caminiti. And he hits a line drive, and Freeman's going to have it. Oh, and Freeman's hurt. Out for the game for Buck Freeman. And Lee Thomas is going to come out come in and replace him in right field. Bernie Strom asks, how come there's an injury in every game? I don't recall seeing that in real games. Yep, there's plenty of injuries here. Uh, they just don't get in shape the way they used to. <laughs> anyway, so we got uh, Lee Thomas in right field, one out, and here's Dixie Walker, one for two. He flies, fly ball to left field. Leon Wagner's there, makes the catch, out number two. And Cy Young's pitching to Russell Martin, 0 for 2 today. He hits a ground at the third. Perez, it's going to be close play at first, and he's safe. Russell Martin beats out the infield single. Slow dribble at a third base, couldn't get it there in time. So two outs, runner at first, and his Biggio. Throw to first, and he's safe. Biggio's 1 for 3. Here's the pitch. Grounded to Perez again, and he plays, makes the short throw to Lemke for the out. That retires the side, and we go to the seventh inning. Here's the seventh inning stretch. Right, that was uh, take me out to the ball game for the seventh inning stretch. And here comes David Justice trying to get Dallas to pull even with Lehigh. Here's the pitch from Mordecai Brown. Pops up to Caminiti and makes the catch for out number one. Here comes Tony Perez. Flies out to George Foster, out number two. And Fred McGriff's in here. He's one for three. He's making his way to the plate. Dangerous hitter. Here's the pitch. And he lines out. And Cecil Cooper 
Range is over and makes the catch on the line drive out number three. So we go to the eighth. It's four to three Lehigh, and Cy Young is still in there. Pitch into Cecil Cooper, and Cecil Cooper lines a double in the center field, 13th double of the season. The runner at second with nobody out, and here's Bagwell, one for three, and Chuck Knobloch's going to pitch hit for Bagwell. Very interesting uh, managing strategy here, but here we go. Rounds out to Lemke, and it's going to get Cooper over to third base. So some situational hitting there for Knobloch, getting over getting Cooper to third on the hit to the right side of the field. And here comes George Foster. And he flies, fly ball that's hole in center field that should score Cooper, and it will. And it's now 5-3 to three Lehigh on a sacrifice fly. And here comes Willie Mays. 1-4-3, the home run, two RBIs today. And there's another shot deep to the left center field. That's gone as well. It's now 5-3. to three. Oh, six to three. I'm sorry. Second home run today, 16th of the season, right past the scoreboard and right and left center field. And it's now six to three Lehigh, and they're starting to pull away here. And it brings up Rico Petroselli. And here's a fly ball to center field. Tolls going back, and he makes the catch up against the wall to out retire the side. So two more runs for Lehigh. It's now six to three. It's looking. It's got to look pretty grim here. There's only six more outs left for Dallas to come back and do something. So here's the pitch for Monica. Oh, we got Davenport to play third base, and Ozzie Smith's playing shortstop, and Sam Rice is playing right field. Many distant defensive substitutions here. And we have Leon Wagner's up. And it's a fly ball, and Sam Rice just coming in, just makes the play, out number one. Mark Lemke here injured Mark DeRosa. Here's the pitch. And he hits a base hit up the center field. So one out hit. We got Mark Lemke on base. Lee Thomas comes to the plate, replacing the injured right fielder. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. Sorry about that. And here's the pitch. And here's a fly ball deep to right field. That's going back. It's going to be off the wall. Lee Thomas, it's a one out double, and his first of the season, and his runners at second and third, tying runs at home plate. And Ryan Terrio, and here's the pitch to Terrio. Grounded hard to third. Davenport throws the first for the out, and the run's going to score. So it's now six to four. So uh, Dallas is still remain, still keep staying in the game here. And they still have a runner at third with two outs now. Bob Stinson, who's one for one with two walks, here's the pitch, and he strikes him out. So that does it for the eighth inning. It's six to four, Lehigh. So Cy Young's still in there, even though he's giving up six runs. Uh, still hit, still uh, staying in the game. Here's Jim Davenport, who came in as a defensive replacement, and he hits a fly ball to left field. Leon Wagner's over there and grabs it out number one. Great play! And here comes Sam Rice, another defensive replacement. He's he has yet to have an at bat in the game. Uh, Two seventy six for the season and limited action. Is the play? Is the pitch? Short, slow ground of the McGriff. Flips over to Young, covering first, out number two. And here's Russell Martin, who is one for three for the game. Pitch, and he strikes him out. So Cy Young pitches a scoreless ninth inning, and here comes uh, Dallas to try to see if they can tie it up or take the or, or get the win here in the bottom of the ninth. And it's going to be Tolan, Justice, and Perez, the top three of the order. And here comes Mordecai Brown to the mound. Here's a grounder to Ozzie Smith, and he makes the play to Cooper for out number one. And here's David Justice. Here's the pitch. Here's a base hit to right field. Just the tying run is now at the plate again. And Tony Perez, one of the dangerous hitters in the league with home runs. Here's the pitch. And here's a fly ball to left field. It's not going to go have the distance, and Foster's going to be there to make the catch. And there's two away. And Fred McGriff, the last last uh, hope here for Dallas Diamonds, the pitch. And here's a line drive, and Biggio makes the play, and, Dal and Lehigh loses it's win the game 6-4 to four over the Dallas Diamonds. Six runs, nine hits, no errors with Lehigh. At four runs, 11 hits, no errors for Dallas. <clears throat> and we have... Cecil Cooper, three for four in the game. Willie Mays, two for four with two home runs, three RBIs. Um, we have David Justice two for four, and Leon Wagner also went yard. 
And for the pitching, we had no relievers in the game at all. Mordecai Brown went the distance, nine innings, four and runs with the fourth win. And Cy Young also went the distance and got the loss at seven and six. So, uh, whoops. And that will do it for that game. Let's see here. Oops. Sorry. All right, here I am messing my messing around my my screen here. So, so Lehigh gets the win. They go to twenty eight and five, twenty five, and Dallas gets the loss, and they're still in first place by a half game. So let's go to the next game here. We got Lancaster and St. Pete. Okay, we're gonna be played at. Let me just see here. Manager, computer, Quayar versus Jack Powell. We're going to be playing at the original Comiskey Park. Uh, okay, so just uh, left the and a righty. Okay, and here we go. Oh. All right, sorry about this. I have to set up my uh, park layout here. I did not do this, I, I think. Um, I apologize. Let me just set these up real quick. Not my favorite thing to do in the world, but must be done. And this will just take a few minutes. All right, I'm going to save that. There we go. So we got Lancaster fighting Amish versus the St. Pete Sharks. Lancaster comes in at 29 and 22. Sharks at 19 and 33, trying to get something started here, spark something to try to maybe go on a roll here. And uh, for the Sharks in, uh, in the field today, we got Geronimo Baroja in left field, Jay Johnstone in center, Raul Mondesi in right. Paul Canerco in first base, Eddie Collins at second, Tony Fernandez in short, Tim Wallach at third, Ray Schalk at catcher. Uh, we have four Lancaster fighting Amish. We have Paul Blair leading off, at, uh, leading off Steve Garvey, Reggie Smith, Joe Maurer, Justin Morneau at DH, Dusty Baker, Brooks Robinson, Mark Belanger, and Davey Johnson. And Paul Blair makes his way to the mount, makes his way to the bat, uh, to the batter's box. Um, Jack Powell is on the mound. He's two and ten, with a six five three ERA. So having a tough time this season. And his Blair with two fifty two and nine homers and thirty four RBIs. Here's the pitch. And here's a fly ball to Baroa. Makes the makes the catch in left field for out number one. And Steve Garvey is up. Pitch and he hits a line shot to center field. Jay Johnstone is there to make the catch. Out number two. And Reggie Smith comes to the plate with 250 and four homers and 20 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And he hits a line drive to center field. That's a base hit for Reggie Smith. Two outs. His two out single and has Joe Mauer batting 309 and four homers and four homers and 14 RBIs. Pitch to Mauer. It's a ground ball back to Powell. Throws to Canerco for out number three. That does it for the top of the first. And here coming to bat at the St. Pete Sharks. They are going to come to, to the plate with Eddie Collins leading off, followed by Tony Fernandez, Raul Mondesi, Jose Canseco batting DH, Geronimo Baroa batting fifth, Tim Wallach, Jay Johnstone, Paul Canergo, and Ray Schalk batting ninth. In the field for Lancaster, we have Dusty Baker, Paul Blair in center, Reggie Smith in right, Steve Garvey at first, Davey Johnson at second, Mark Belanger and shortstop, Brooks Robinson at third, 
behind the plate, Joe Maurer and Mike Cuellar on the mound. He is six and four with a two oh nine ERA. He has the pitch to Collins, who is now who's been at one ninety two leading off and no home runs and one RBI. Here's the pitch. He hits a fly ball to Blair and he makes the catch route number one. Tony Fernandez comes up. He's two fifty hitting two fifty. Twelve only twelve at bats, so interesting lineup here. Here's the pitch to Fernandez. He grounds it to Cuellar, throws it to Garvey at first, who makes the play for the out number two. And Raul Mondesi makes his play to the plate with a 223 average and a homer and 13 RBIs is the pitch. There's a fly ball to Blair in center field, makes the catch, out number three, end of the first, no score. And Justin Morneau makes his way to the plate, 312 average, five homers, 20 RBIs. Here's the pitch. And it pops this one up foul. Canerco goes running after it and makes the play in foul territory for out number one. Dusty Baker comes to the plate and strikes out. And Brooks Robinson comes up now. 232 average, four homers, and 25 RBIs. Here's the pitch. Rounds it to Fernandez at short. Throws to Canerco for out number three. That does it for the top of the second. And here comes Jose Canseco, batting 172 with 11 homers and 22 RBIs. Koya rocks and fires. Here's the pitch. Who oh, fouls that one off? Do this over again. And here comes the one two, one two pitch. And Canseco grounds it to Belanger. Throws to Garvey at first, out number one. It brings up Geronimo Barroa. It's only three for five on the season. Uh, one home run on four RBIs. Here's the pitch. Rounds it to second. Davy Johnson throws to Steve Garvey, out number two. Tim Wallach comes up. Mike Coyar. And he lines it to Belanger and makes the catch. Top of the third inning, we got Belanger, Johnson, and Blair up. Belanger's a 209, 10 RBIs. Here's the pitch. Space hit for Belanger in the right fender. And Mondesi bobbles the ball, and Belanger's going to make it to second on an error. So it's a single and an error. Second of the season for Mondesi. And here comes Davey Johnson. 258, two homers, 11 RBIs. And he grounds it to Wallach, throws to Collins, and Belanger makes it to third base on the sacrifice. And here comes Paul Blair with one out and runner at third. Strikes him out. Jack Powell strikes out Blair. Here's Garvey trying to see if he can drive a run in. Here's the pitch. And there's a fly ball to right field. Montessi over there makes the pe- makes the catch this, this time, a running catch over in the corner. And the, the error doesn't hurt them, and it's 0-0 still after, th- after two and a half. Here's the pitch to Johnstone. He flies out to Reggie Smith. Great play, Reggie Smith. And Paul Canerco can, comes to the plate against Mike Cuellar. He's 226 average, 10 homers, and 20 RBIs. And he hits a shot. Brooks Robinson has a great play over to Garvey, out number two. Brooks Robinson has a great club over there at third base, makes his 14th great play of the season. His Ray Schalk rounds it weekly to Davey Johnson over to Garvey, and that does it for the th- bottom of the third. So third of the way through the game, it's 0-0. And here comes Jack Powell to face Reggie Smith. And he floats it over into center field for a base hit. So Lancaster has the lead running o- lead runner on and his Joe Maurer. And he, he gets one past Fernandez, and Reggie Smith's going to stop at second. So we got first and second with nobody out. And Justin Morneau's up, 309 average, 0 for 1 today. Here's the pitch. Line ball, line drive back to Powell. He snags it, throws his glove up there, and it just the ball finds his way in the glove. And we got one quick out. The runners can't move at all. So we got Dusty Baker here, 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. And here's a long drive deep to left center field. That is going way back. Perot was looking up, and that's gone. A three-run home run for Dusty Baker. So it's 3-0 Lancaster. Fifth home run of the season. And here comes Brooks Robinson. Strikes out. And Mark Belanger is up. He's one for one today with a single. And he strikes out. So Jack Powell strikes out two. Quick ones after the three-run homer by Dusty Baker. It's now 3-0 Lancaster. Here comes Eddie Collins, who's 0-1. Here's the pitch. 
He lines drives down the right field line. Smith is going to be there, but he can't unless it drop in front of him for a base hit. So lead runner on for St. Pete and his Tony Fernandez 0 for 1. Oh, two pickoff chances and he's back both times. Here's the pitch to Fernandez. Finally grounds it to, th- to shortstop Belanger to David Johnson for one, but they cannot make the throw in time to get Fernandez. So one out, runner at first. And here's Raul Mondesi, 0 for 1. Strike three. Strikes him out. Two, two outs now for Jose Canseco. And he hits a fly ball to left field. It's going deep, and it's going to be off the wall. Jose Canseco, Tony Fernandez is making the – Oh, he's going for three, and he's safe. And Jose Canseco, I thought it was going to be a double, but he ended up, didn't stop at second, made it all the way to third. So a run-scoring triple for Jose Canseco. So it's now 3-1 to one Lancaster, and here's Geronimo Barroa trying to add to the add to the runs this inning. Here's the pitch. And he can't as he strikes out. Quaya blew that one by him. After four, it's 3-1 to one Lancaster. Here comes Davey Johnson. He has bunted, he sacrificed in the third inning. Here's the pitch. Grounds it to Collins at second. Throws to Canerco at first for out number one. Here's Paul Blair, 0 for 2. Grounds it back to Powell. Throws to Canerco for out number two. And here's Steve Garvey, 0 for 2. And he grounds it to Fernandez. Throws to Canerco for out number three. So Canerco makes three putouts in the inning and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Here comes Tim Wallach. And he grounds it to Johnson, throws to Garvey, out number one. Jay Johnstone, 167 average here. And he grounds it to Belanger, throws to Garvey, out number two. Paul Canerco. And he line drive to Belanger, out number three. Great play. 13th, pretty great play for Belanger. So we got after five, it's still three to one Lancaster. And here comes Reggie Smith. Walks him two for two day for Reggie Smith, and he has a, has a walk to that. So here comes Joe Mauer facing Jack Powell. Here's the pitch, grounds it sharply to Collins. Great play to Fernandez for one over to Canerco for two. Double play. Eddie Collins makes a great play his first of the year. So we got two outs now, and his Justin Morneau, and he strikes him out. So they're staying close, and his Ray Schalk. It's like he has a package of hot dogs on his chest. And uh, it comes, he's facing uh, Mike Cuellar. Ray Shock's been 156, two home runs so far this season. Here's the pitch. And here's a pop fly ball to shortstop. Belanger should make that catch, and he does. Out number one. Eddie Collins is up to bat, and he grounds a weekly to Belanger, and it's going to be close, though, and he's out anyway. As he hustled down the line, but he couldn't make it in time. And his Tony Fernandez, 0 for 2. And there's a fly ball to the center field. That's going far, but Blair makes it, tracks it down. Out number three. It's still 3 to 1. Lancaster after six. Here comes Jack Powell to face Dusty Baker. Strikes him out after that three run homer. He whiffs him. Brooks Robinson's up. He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. Shop ground to Canerco. Unassisted play to the first base, out number two. Belanger is one for two. Here's the pitch. Hey, shot line drive to Wallach. Stabs it for out number three. And we go to the seventh inning. Bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch. Raul Mondesi is coming up, and he grounds it to Belanger. A lot of ground ball out this game. Throws to Gavi for out number one. And Jose Canseco had an RBI triple the last time he was up. And he had Grounds a base hit through the hole in left field and uh, in the left side, and he's on first base with one out. Here comes Geronimo Baroa, 0 for 2. Canseco's back safely. And there's a fly ball to center field, but Blair is tracking it and makes the catch out number two. And Tim Wallach makes comes up to the plate. Here's the pitch. Grounds it to Garvey, makes the play to first, steps on the bag, and that's it does it for the seventh inning. It's three to one Lancaster. And here comes Davy Johnson. The pitch. Fly ball to center field. Johnstone tracks it and makes the catch. So Paul Blair is over three. Here's the pitch to Blair. Strikes him out. Number seven for Powell. 
Powell's pitching a pretty good game here today. Only five hits given up so far, and here comes Steve Garvey. And here's a fly ball to the center field, and John Stone has it without number three. So not much doing from the offense coming since the, th since the fourth inning. Uh, it's the only inning that has offense at all. So <laughs> Mike Cuellar faces Jay Johnstone. Here's the pitch. And he hits a shot into the outfield for a base hit. That brings up Canerco, who's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. Walks him. Uh-oh. So Cuellar's in a little bit of trouble here. Tying runs on first base. Ray Shalk's up. 0 for 2 today. He's a very light hitting catcher for St. Pete. Here's the pitch. And he lines it to Belange, and it's out number one. Here comes Eddie Collins here. One for three today. Here's the pitch. And he hits a shot. Oh, Cuellar bobbles the ball, and it's going to be an error. Bases are loaded. Collins gets the first, and here comes Tony Fernandez. Sean, uh, world's worst gamer's favorite player, not Hall of Famer, uh, 0 for 3 today. He hasn't been able to do anything. And here's a big spot for him with the bases loaded for St. Pete. And I'm sure he'd love to see the Sharks, uh, his favorite player, Tony Fernandez, do something against Lancaster. So here's the pitch. Oh, and he walks them in. So he does drive a run in via a walk. And it's now 3 to 2. Mike Cuellar's running. It's a little bit of issue here. And one out, and Raul Mondesi's up. Here's the pitch. And it's a slow ground at a third base. They're going to make the play to second. Home is out there and is out first to the double play. So they come up with a great double play. The infield was in. They threw the, the, they threw the home play for the force out and then to the first base. Wow. 5-2-3 double play. And here comes the top of the ninth with Jack Powell still on the mound. These dead ballers, they don't want to come out. So here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball deep to right field. That's going to be that's going to be gone. Reggie Smith, his third hit of the game, a home run. It's now four to two, and that's going to be that's going to that's going to hurt some some somewhat for Sharks here. They were almost they were within a run. Now they're within two. So here comes Joe Mauer, and he hits a base hit. So we'll see how long Jack Powell is there for. And his Justin Morneau. And he hits a long drive. That one's gone. So Jack Powell's just falling apart here. And he's not coming out, apparently. Uh, the curse of the manager file, I suppose. It's now 6-2 to two with uh, Dusty Baker at the plate. Strikes him out. So the damage is done now. Just trying to... Here's the pitch to Brooks Robinson. He hits a fly ball. John Stone's there. And here comes Belanger. And he hits a space hit to center field. So, you know, it's he caught he caught the center field of snooze and he runs to second base for a double. So the ninth double for Belanger. And here comes Davey Johnson, 0 for 2, and he hits a base hit. And here comes Belanger in to score. So now it's seventh run given up by Powell and no nobody in sight to, to replace him. And he strikes him out. Ninth strikeout, but he's given up seven runs now. Four in the ninth, three in the fourth. Uh, so Lancaster is cruising now in the bottom of the ninth, and there comes Canseco, two for three. Strikes out. Cuellar's third. Here comes Bo Baroa. He hits a fly ball to the left field, and Baker's there to make the catch. There's two outs. Tim Wallach. And he hits a fly ball to left field, and Baker's going to be there to make the catch. That's the game. Seven to two, Lancaster pulls away at late in the game and it was a lot closer than it looked. And here comes, so we have Reggie Smith, three for three, home run. Justin Morneau with a home run. Dusty Baker had a three-run shot. And for St. Pete, just not much offense there. Uh, two for four for Canseco, the tr unscoring triple, and a walk that drove in a run by Tony Fernandez. Again, no no relief pitches in sight here in this game. Cuellar gets the complete game win. And Powell gets the complete game loss. He's now 2-11. And, and Mike Cuellar is the MVP. All right, so...
that brings us to so Lan uh, Lancaster is actually behind Canada. Uh, they they're five games behind, and St. Pete is bringing up the rear in the water division. Next game we have Edmonton and Carpathian. And we will have Jerry Kuzman for the Edmonton Express facing Jeff Facero for the Carpathian Wolves. 25 and 30, fifth place. Let me just see here against the lefty. Right. And he's facing. Okay, so there's two lefties facing each other. The ball. Both fifth place teams. So here we go. All right, here we go. We got uh, Carpathian. I'm sorry, the Edmonton Express at Carpathian Wolves in Forbes Field. Edmonton is 19:31. The Wolves are 25 and 30. And for the defensive alignment for Carpathian is Tovar in left field, Cy Seymour in center, Dave Parker in right. Rich Reese at first base, Phil Garner at second, Leo Cardenas at shortstop, Tommy Leach at third, and Manny Sanguian at catcher. Jeff Facero's on the mound. He's six and four with a 1.72 ERA. Cosm okay, and for Edmonton, we have Kaz Matsui leading off, followed by Buddy Bell, Carlos Lee, Tommy Agee, Andy Thornton, Miguel Tejada, Hunter Pence, D.H. Ken Boswell, and Jerry Grote. Uh, to round out the lineup. So we got Mat Matsui comes to the plate, 149 average, and here's the pitch. It's a fly ball to Parker and makes the out. Out number one, here comes Buddy Bell. The pitch from Facero. Ground ball to Cardenas, throws to Reese at first, uh, out number two. And Jeff Facero makes the pitch to Carlos Lee, who's 203, five homers, and 22 RBIs. And as the ground ball to Leach throws to Reese at first, and that's a quick one, two, three inning. And here comes Edmonton. I'm sorry, here comes Scott Pathian to, to the plate. Edmund, in, in the field for Edmonton, we got Carlos Lee in left, Tommy Agee in center, Hunter Pence at right, Andy Thornton at first, Kazmatsui at second, Miguel Tejada at short. Buddy Bell at third, behind the plate, Jerry Grote, and on the mound, Jerry Kuzman, who's four and three at the 2.72 ERA this season so far. And uh, on the lineup sheet for Cop Athen, we've got Cy Seymour leading off, followed by Tovar, Rich Reese, Dave Parker, Tommy Leach, Phil Garner, Leo Cardenas, Manny Sanguian, and on a DH, Lloyd Weiner. And Cy Seymour is heading 362 this season with 14 homers and 30 RBIs. And here's the pitch from Kuzman. And there's a fly ball to right field. Hunter Pence is there, makes the catch out number one. And here's Tovar, 325 average so far this season. And he hits a base hit up the center field. Oh, it's a double. Third double of the season. And Rich Reese comes to the plate. Limited action this season so far. Three homers, though, in 44 at-bats. Here's the pitch. And he grounds it to Matsui. Throws the first out, number two, when Tova goes to third. And here comes Dave Parker. And Dave Parker grounds it foul. Well, it's like to say, hey, Dave Lando and Bernie Strom and Buckshot. I don't know if you guys are still here, slash deep. Gaming, uh, it's pretty quiet on the chat, so uh, maybe I'm just doing this by myself. Uh, if anybody, hold on one second, uh, anybody wants to join, just post the link here. Have you in the booth if you want. Okay, so Dave Parker comes to the plate 356, seven home runs, 30, 37 RBIs. Here's the pitch. Strikes him out. That does it for the inning. And it's after one, it's 0 0. And here comes Tommy Ag batting 151, two homers and six RBIs. Strike three. Strikes him out. Andy Thornton, 270 with two homers and six RBIs. Rounds it to Tommy Leach. Throws to Reese. Out number two. 
And here's the pitch from Tejada. I mean, from Fresero to Tejada. Walks Tejada. He lost him. And that brings up Hunter Pence, who went in 175 with five homers and 21 RBI as the pitch. Rounded to Leach, throws the short way to Garner for out number three. And that's the end of the top of the second. We go to the bottom of the second. And here's Tommy Leach leading off. And he pops it up. It's a hard. It should have some room for this one. And he does. And he makes the catch. Out number one, here's Phil Garner. And he grounds it to Kuzman, throws to Thornton for out number two. Leo Cardenas Strike strikes out number. So after two, it's still 0 0. And here's Ken Boswell, the DH. And he hits a base hit to the left on the left side. And he's on first base with nobody out. And here's Jerry Grote. 197 hitter, one homer, six RBIs. And he hits a shot. Oh, off the pitcher. To throws to Cardenas to Garner for one to Reese and get the double play, even though it deflected off the pitcher. So it's two outs now on the double play. Pretty slick infielding there. And here's the pitch. And Kazmatsu hits one down in the, the corner, and he's gonna leg a double, leg out a double, but he's hurt now. Uh, I don't know if he's out of the game or not. We'll find out. He's still sitting there at second base, and here comes Buddy Bell. He f- Fly ball the right field. Dave Parker makes the catch, and that's the out. Oh, and Matsui's going to be out for the out of the game because he's going to be replaced at second base, and he'll be replaced by Dwayne Kuiper. So Kuiper comes in, and and Kuzman's facing Sanguian, who's two sixty six average and a homer and sixteen RBIs. <clears throat> and Sanguian grounds it to Buddy Bell, throws to Thornton, but it's an error. Error on Buddy Bell is ninth, and Sanguin makes it to second base on the bad throw. And here comes Lloyd Wayner. <clears throat> Here's the pitch. Rounds it to Kuiper. Kuiper throws to Thornton. He makes the play, and Sanguin goes to third. Excuse me for a second. Kuzman then now faces Seymour. Here's the pitch to Seymour. And he's... Wraps a single into left center field. That's going to score Sanguin. So it's one nothing. Kyle Payton on single by Seymour. RBIs and his toe bar. He, oh, line drive to Kuiper for one. And he makes the double play. Doubles off the runner at first. And it's the end of the inning. But it's one nothing. Kyle Payton after three. Here comes Carlos Lee. And he hits a fly ball to left field. Tovar is there. Makes the catch. Out number one. Tommy Agee 0 for 1. Strikes him out in another injury. Oh, my goodness. Tommy Agee is out for the game as well. So we get a lot of injuries here. Uh, and on, Andy Thornton's up. And he hits a long drive to left center field. Tovar is there in the gap and makes the catch. Out number three. So we're going to need a new center fielder. And that's going to be... Thurman Tucker. Looks like an accountant, actually. But he's going to play center field. He has only played in two games so far this season. And here comes Rich Reese. Pitch from Kuzman. And he hits a base hit. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, he just beats it out. Hunter Pence tried to throw him out at first base, tried to catch him snoozing. But he made it to first, so he gets a single. Here's Dave Parker. Runner at first and nobody out. 0 for 1 for Dave. And he hits a fly ball to left field, and Carlos Lee makes the catch for out number one. And Tommy Leach comes to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And he hits a shot past the hotter at the shortstop. Base hit. Runners at first and second. One out, and Phil Garner's up. 0 for 1 for Phil. Strikes him out. <clears throat> and here comes Leo Cardenas, 0 for 1. Strikes him out. So two strikeouts to end the inning. It's still one nothing Carpathian. Tahara is up. Uh, it's Tahara, Pence, and Boswell. Two up. Here's the pitch. Tahara flies out to left field. To Tovar makes the catch. Out number one. Here comes Hunter Pence. 0 for 1. Here's a fly ball. Almost the same spot for Tovar. Makes the play there as well. Two outs. And here's Ken Boswell, who's one for one. With the single. And he strikes out this time. So four and a half. It's still one nothing copy. And his Manny Sanguin. 0 for 1. 
Graza to Thornton. Tags first base out number one. Lloyd Wayne is 0 for 1. And he hits a shot down the line, and Ponte Pence is chasing after it. He's going to be bouncing around the corner. Lloyd Wayner gets, he's going for third, is the throw, and he's safe. Triple for Lloyd Wayner. In fact, that's his second hit of the season. So, uh, oh, yeah. So, oh, no, that's not true. It's, uh, he's, he's played a lot. So, my fault. I was looking at the wrong column. Here is the pitch to Cy Seymour. Runner at third. Cy Seymour bloops one in the left in the center field for RBI single. Seymour, I think, has two RBIs on the game. And here comes Tovar. And he hits a ground ball to Tejada over to Kuiper for one, and they will not get Tovar at first. So it's two outs, runner at first, and here's Rich Reese. Strikes out Rich Reese, so it's five strikeouts for Kuzman. It's two nothing, half Atheon now. That's and it's going into the sixth inning. And here's Jerry Grote, facing Facero. Strikes him out. And here comes Dwayne Kuiper, and he hits a fly ball to center field. Seymour's there, makes the play for out number two, and Bill Buddy Bell comes to the plate over two, and he hits a base hit to right field. And we have ran on first base with two outs, and Carlos Lee's up, who's also hitless in two at bats. And he hits a blooper into left center field for a base hit. Buddy Bell's going to make it to third. Two outs, runners on the corners. Thurman Tucker, who came in, he only has one at bat this season. And here we go. Unknown scouting report for Thurman Tucker, so we'll see what happens. What happened there? Oh, pitch out. Flicker, a screen flicker, and we got a pitch out. Here's the pitch again. And he hits a ground ball to Garner, who throws the first and gets Tucker for out number three. Still 2 nothing. copy the after five and a half. Pitch to Dave Parker. Kuzman gets a grounded to Tejada. It's over to Thornton for out number one. And Leach is up. He's one for two. Here's the pitch. And here's a fly ball. It's left field, and Carlos Lee drifts back a little bit and makes the catch. And here's the pitch to Phil Garner, who's 0 for 2. And he grounds to Tejada. Tejada throws across the diamond and makes it out number 3. So here we go to the 7th inning stretch. I, oh, I'm sorry. Top of the... Where are we? No, I'm sorry. Top of the 7th. Andy Thornton, Miguel Tejada, and Hunter Pence uh, do up. And it's a walk to Thornton. So Facero issues a walk. And here comes Miguel Tejada, who's 0 for 1. And he grounds a soft one to Cardenas over to Garner for 1 to Reese for 2. Double play, 2 outs. Hunter Pence is up, 173 average. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball hard to left field, but Tovar's there. Out number 3. Here we go to the 7th inning stretch. <laughs> And here's Leo Cardenas. Strike three. Strikes him out. Manny sang in. Rounds it to Kuiper. Throws the first out, number two. And Lloyd Wayner is one for two in the game. And he grounds it to Tejada. Throws over the first. Out number three. So go to the eighth. Ken Boswell, Jerry Grote, and Dwayne Kuiper lead. And Culvey's coming in to pitch for Carpathian. And here's the pitch to Boswell. He walks him. So to Culvey. Not a lot of room for base runs for uh, errors here or walks. Uh, base runners as it's only a two-run lead here. And here's Jerry Grote. And there's a base hit for Grote. Uh, note the runner just advances to second. Sorry about that. Um, Dwayne Kuyper. First and second. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Strikes him out. Big strikeout for, for Kent to Culvey and Buddy Bell, who has a single this game. The pitch. Yeah, line drive to Reese. And that makes, <laughs> what happened there? They double him off again? Let's see. Yeah, Kuroot cut off first. A double play. Another line drive double play. So the... 
Edmonton team is running themselves out of innings here, lining into two double plays, I believe. So here's the pitch to Seymour from Kuzman, who's pitching a gem, by the way, as well. But there he goes. He just gives up a double. To, oh, and a triple to Seymour. So, so Cy Seymour leads off with a triple, trying to extend the lead here for, for Carpathian in his Tovar. And they walk Tovar to get the double play. Force out at second, but you know, his here comes that brings up Rich Reese. And it's a fly ball to right field. Hunter Pence up against the wall, makes the catch, and Cy Seymour should have that easily. He does. It's a sacrifice fly. It's now three nothing Carpathian. Here comes Dave Parker well, with one out, runner at first, and a pickoff attempt. He's safe. And Tobar's going, and there's the pitch, and, and he steals second base. Not a lot of stolen bases in the last few games. Here's the pitch to Parker, the runner at second base now. Strikes him out. Seven strikeout for Kuzman. And here's Tommy Leach. And there's a wild pitch. And Tolai gets to third base. And so we have runner third, two outs. Here's Leach. Walks him. So we got first and third and pitch to Phil Garner, who's 0 for 3. And there's a base hit into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. Tucker has it, throws, but it's going to be a two-run double. And Phil Garner is now 5 to nothing. So Carpathian just pulling away from Edmonton now. Here we go. Is Kuzman. Gross coming out to talk to Kuzman. Hits to Cardenas. Grounds it to Kuiper. Throws to first. And we go to the top of the ninth. 5 nothing so far. Kenta Kelby's now still on the mound against Carlos Lee. Strikes out Carlos Lee. And here comes Thurman Tucker, 0 for 1. And he grounds to Garner, throws the first, out number 2. And Andy Thornton comes up. Oh, Art Shamsky's going to pinch hit. And he grounds it to Cardenas, throws the first, and that's going to do it for the game. It's now 5 0 win for Carpathian Wolves. Shut out of Edmonton. <clears throat> we got. For Carpathian, we've got three for four game for Seymour, two RBIs. Uh, one for four day for Phil Garner with two RBIs. Um, not much on the Edmonton side of the, of the – just a few guys with a few hits. Again, Kuzman, complete game loss. And we did have a reliever in this game, which is kind of amazing because the last two games there were none. Jeff Facero, surprisingly, seven and four. Uh, no earned runs. And Kent Culvey – Gave uh, completed the shutout with two innings himself. So Jeff Vicero with a 1.56 ERA so far. <laughs> if you ask me, that's pretty surprising because uh, I know a guy named Brett Saberhagen who's got no wins this year so far and like a 7.5 ERA. So go figure. <laughs> okay, so we got, well, we got one final game left in the day here. One second, folks. I'm just going to take a drink one second. All right, are we ready to do one more game? Hagerstown and T-Ville. Uh, all right, let's see who we got here. We got Paul. Who is Paul Parrott? <laughs> I never heard of him before, but he's going to be starting for the Hagerstown Braves. And the T, oh, I'm sorry, the, the T-Ville uh, Blue Bolts have Felix Hernandez going. Um, so let's see if we have the lineups here. Nope, Zimmerman. All right, here we go. For the, blue, the blue bolts have their lineups in. We're at Wrigley Field here. We got Wrigley Field, the Hagerstown Braves at 27 and 25, facing the Blue Bolts at 19 and 33. <clears throat> Welcome to nobody who showed up since the last game. So, <laughs> oh, at least didn't uh, didn't comment anyway. So we have uh, for the Blue Bolts, the home standing Blue Bolts. We have Billy Williams in left, Lou Brock in center, Joe Cotter in right. 
John Olruden first, Roberto Alomar at second, Ernie Banks short, Ron Santo at third, Honus Wagner, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Miguel Montero behind the plate, and Felix Hernandez at the mound. He's two and four, the three five zero ERA, and he will be facing Honus Wagner, Fred Clark, Hank Aaron, Eddie Matthews, Joe Adcock, Bob Horner at DH, Shane Mack, Heine Zimmerman, and Bill Raridan. <clears throat> So the pitch, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we did that. So here comes the pitch to Wagner from Hernandez. And he grounds it to seconds. And it's out at first. It's close to play. Well, Hans Wagner really got down there, but not in time. And here comes Fred Clark. He's 353 average, 10 homers, and 24 RBIs. And he bloops a single into left center field. And he's going for two when he does. He makes it for second. He just kept running, didn't slow down. He has a double. Now his 11th of the season. Here comes Hank Aaron, 243, 10 homers, and 33 RBIs. And he hits a base hit up the center field. That's going to, oh, another double. So two doubles in a row. This one, a run scoring double. So it's 1 0 in Hagerstown quickly. Here's Eddie Matthews with one out. Pitkoff attempt at second. No no dice. And Matthews grounds the first. Olrude picks it up, tags first, and Aaron goes to third. So two outs, and here's Joe Adcock. And he hits a base hit. Adcock's going to stay at first now. He's not going to go for second. So we got a 2 nothing lead. RBI single for Adcock. Here comes Bob Horner, the DH. And he grounds to Hernandez, throws the first out number three, and that does it. So 2 nothing. Hagerstown takes the lead. And here comes Paul Parrott. To fit, oh. He's, Paul Parrott's on the mound, and behind him is going to be Fred Clark in left, Shane Mack in center, Hank Aaron in right. Joe Adcock at first, Heine Zimmerman at second, Honus Wagner at short, Eddie Matthews at third, Paul Bill Raridan at catcher. And for T-Ville, we have Lou Brock, John Olrud, Babe Ruth is DHing in this game. Ernie Banks, Billy Williams, Joe Carter, Roberto Alama, Ron Santo, and Miguel Montero. Fill out the lineup. So we got Babe Ruth is going to make only his third at bat of the career in this league tonight. Here's the pitch from Parrott to Brock. And Brock is going to line at the center field. It's going to be a double for Brock. As Mac couldn't get it, it was over his head. He had to, re- had to run to the wall to get it. And Lou Brock has a 16th double. And here comes John Olrude. And he grounds it to Parrott. Ad- throws to Adcock at first. And Brock is going to stay at second. And ladies and gentlemen, the babe is making his entrance into Wrigley Field. For the third time, but uh, he has zero hits on the season. And he's looking for his first career hit in the Field of Dreams League. Here's the pitch. And he dr- drills one down the left field line. for That's going to be extra bases. So he's going to have his first hit and his first at bat here of the game. And it's going to drive in a run. And Babe Ruth has an RBI double. We have Ernie Banks up to the plate. He's been 252 with 12 homers and 34 RBIs. Here's the pitch from Parrott. And he hits a ground ball to Adcock, takes it himself. Babe Ruth makes it to third base with two outs and his Billy Williams. And he hits a fly ball left center, right center field. Hank Aaron's there to make the catch. It's now third, the third out, and it's now two to one Hagerstown after one. Here comes Felix Hernandez to face Shane Mack, who's 222 and seven homers and 23 RBIs. And it's Shane Mack grounds it to Santo, throws to Ola Ruth out number one. And it's Heine Zimmerman, 164, with a home run and 13 RBIs. He flies it down to right field. Joe Carter's there to make the catch route number two. Bill Raridan is batting 222 this season, is the pitch. And he grounds it to Olrude, takes it himself, out number three, one, two, three. And here comes the T-Ville Blue Bolts in the bottom of the second. We have Joe Carter, Sandy Alomar, and Ron Santo. Joe Carter, it's a shot to left field, but Fred Clark's right there for number one. I'm sorry, for Roberto Alomar, not Sandy Alomar. I saw the S Alomar, but it's for switch hitter. <laughs> Roberto Alomar, second baseman. Here's the pitch. And here's a base hit for Alomar. 
So T-Bill gets their third hit of the game. Here comes Ron Santo. Alamaz on this, on this horse, and he's caught stealing. So second out is made at second base. Here's the pitch to Santo. Rounds it to Wagner. Wagner comes up with it, throws to Adcock, route number three. And after two, it's two to one, Hagerstown. Here comes the pitch to Wagner from Hernandez. And he grounds to first, and Olaru takes it, out number two. Fred Clark, one for one with a double. Here's the pitch. And here's a fly ball to Carter. And right makes the play, out number two. Hank Aaron, one for one with a double. And an RBI. Here's the pitch. Line drive to center field, and he's going to make it first base with a base hit. Falls in front of Lou Brock. So two for second hit of the game for Hank Aaron. Here's Eddie Matthews, 0 for 1. Oh, and there's a wild pitch, but it keeps it in front of him. There's a pickoff attempt. And there's a long drive for Eddie Matthews. That's going deep, deep, and it's gone over the wall at Wrigley Field and right field. It's a home run, two-run homer. Eddie Matthews. It's his ninth home of the season, 359 feet. So it's 4-1 to one now, Hagerstown. Here comes Joe Adcock, who's 1-for-1. One one. Ground ball to Alomar. Throws the first, out number three. So they get two more runs. It's now 4-1. to one. And Miguel Montero comes up against Paul Parrott. Here's the pitch. Right up the chute. Bill Raritan's there. Makes the catch for out number one. And here's Lou Brock, who's one for one with a double. And there's a ground ball to Matthews. Throws over to first. Lou Brock speeding down the line, and he's, ooh, just out. It's a tough one to catch Lou Brock on those slow grounders, but he did. And here comes John Olerud. Both for one of the game, and he walks him. So Olerud's on first base. Here comes Babe Ruth, who's one for one. The pitch to Ruth. And another base hit for Babe Ruth. And Old Root's going to take third, so a two-out single for Babe Ruth. And we've got runners on the corners, and Ernie Banks is up. And there's a fly ball. Hit well, but Fred Clark's going to be there for the out. Retires the side. Is now after through three now. It's four to one, Hagerstown. Pitch. And there's a base hit to Brock. Up to Brock has it, and Horn, um, Horner's on first base with a single. Shane Mack is up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And he walks him. Felix Hernandez is let him go there. So it's first and second. Nobody out. Rounder to first. Olerud throws to second for one. And he's going to get the first back to first base for the double play. 3 6 3. So the runner moves the run to the third with two outs. And here's Bill Raritan. And Ernie Banks makes a great play and gets out Raritan to end the inning. So. It's his 30th great play at shortstop. That's pretty amazing. Halfway through the season almost, not even. Here comes Paul Parrott to face Billy Williams. And there's a fly ball deep to left, right, right center field. That's way back. That's gone. Billy Williams hits a home run for the T-Ville Blue Bolts. Makes it 4-2 to two game now. It's his 11th home run of the season. For Billy Williams, so that's what they needed here. They start this off. It's four to two now, and here comes Joe Carter, and he grounds it weakly to Honus Wagner. Great poor play, and Joe Carter's at safe at first. So Honus Wagner, this fourth poor play of the season. Here comes Roberto Alomar with nobody out, runner at first, and he grounds it softly to Adcock, throws to Zimmerman, and Joe Carter's going to get over. I think on the sacrifice. Um, so. Runner in scoring position for Santo. And he hits a fly ball deep to right, but Aaron's going to be there, and Carter's going to make the try for third, and the throw is safe. So so another Carter takes third on the fly out to right field, and here comes Miguel Montero over one. And he walks him. So Paul Parrott's having a little bit of an issue this inning. And his Lou Brock, who's one for two. And he grounds it to Zimmerman, throws the first. Brock is not going to be there in time. And we got Honus Wagner's leading off the top of the fifth here for Hagerstown. Here's the pitch. And here's a fly ball to Brock. And he makes the catch. 
Out number one is Fred Clark, one for two with a double. And there's a base hit for Clark on the right-hand side of the field. On first with one out. Here's a Hank Aaron, two for two. And Clark's going, and he's caught stealing. So Fred Clark trying to swipe a bag, and he got, got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. And here's Hank Aaron with two outs. And he strikes out Hank Aaron. So it's a 4-2 game, still close. Bottom of the fifth inning, his Olerud at I'm sorry, Olerud, Ruth, and Banks. Here's the pitch. And he walks him. So here comes Babe Ruth, who's two for two. And trying to do some more damage here. Here's the pitch. And it looks like he's got a bunt. Babe Ruth bunts and sends Olerud over to second. So that's an interesting call. And here's the pitch to Ernie Banks. And he gets a fly ball deep to center field. Shane Mack is there, makes the catch. Olerud's going to tag a second and go to third. So, again, a runner at third, two outs, and his Billy Williams. Ball, ball. He walks him. First and third, two outs. Joe Carter's up to the plate. He's one for two. Man, he hits a fly ball to center field. Jay Mack is there, makes the catch. It's going to do it for the fifth inning. It's four to two, Hagerstown. And here comes Eddie Matthews to face Felix Hernandez. And he strikes him out. Felix Hernandez against Joe Adcock. And he grounds to Banks. Banks to first for out number two. And Bob Horner, DH, steps in, and he grounds to third. Santo throws across the diamond for out number three. Bottom of the six, still four to two. Roberto Alomar, one for one. And there's a shot to center field. Mack is there, makes the catch. Out number one, Ron Santo. Here's the pitch. And he hits another fly ball in the exact same spot. Shane Mack makes the catch out number two. Montero is not having, well, he's 0 for 1. He's bad 316. And he hits a fly ball deep to right, and Hank Aaron makes the catch. So three fly ball outs in the sixth inning, and that's it. And we go to the seventh. It's now still 4 to 2. And Felix Hernandez faces Shane Mack. Another fly ball to center field. Another fly ball out. <laughs> Heine Zimmerman up to bat. And he hits a base hit. And he's going to stay at first, and that's a one-out single for Zimmerman. And Bill Raritan's up. He's 0 for 2. And Zimmerman's going, and Alomar's going to put the tag on him in time, and he's out. Another caught stealing for, for the Hagerstown uh, Braves. Here comes Raritan now with nobody on base. Here's the pitch. And he bloops one over this first single. So what, Raritan goes 1 for 3 for the day with a single. And let's see what Honus Wagner can do with two outs. And there's a shot down the line. That could be extra bases. And it will be. And it could score Raritan. And we'll see what Billy Williams does. And it's going to score Raritan. So it's 5-2 to two with a two-out double for Honus Wagner. Here's the pit. Oh, and Panic is Herb Panic is about to leave Felix Hernandez. And he's going to face Fred Clark, who's two for three. Yeah, that's a long drive to center field. Lou Brock is going to have it for out number three. But the seventh inning stretch comes upon us. And here comes Lou Brock. Face Paul. Paulette. And Lou Brock goes deep, and it's gone. Lou Brock hits his fourth home run of the season down the right field line. Just made it over the, it was three, well, 396 feet. It was over the wall. And it's now five to three, so they get that run right back. So it's back to two. Paul Parrott uh, give, gives up, surrenders a fourth home run of the season to Lou Brock, and here comes John Olerud. And he gets a fly ball deep to left field. That Fox is going to keep this one in the park, and is going to catch that for out number one. And here is Babe Ruth, who's two for two with a sacrifice and a double. And there's a fly ball to center field, and Babe Ruth makes the out, number two. And Ernie Banks is up 0 for 3 today. And he hits a long drive deep to right center field. That's going to be gone. Ernie Banks is his 13th home run of the season, makes it 5-4 to four now. Paul Parrott is coming into some problems here. And the manager should be looking into the bullpen at this point. So, But here's Billy Williams, and he hits a base hit, and... 
two-out single for Billy Williams, and here comes Joe Carter, one for three today. And he hits a fly ball to left field. Fred Clark makes the catch. It's now five to four. They get two runs in the seventh, and we go to the eighth inning, and Pennick is pitching to Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron grounds to Santo, throws the first out number one. And here comes Eddie Matthews, and he walks him. Walks Matthews, here comes Joe Adcock, who's one for three. Grounds at the Santo, throws the second for one, all of the old route for two, double play, ends the inning, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. Roberto Alomar facing uh, Paul Parrott still in there. So we got Alomar, Santo, and Montero, the bottom third of the, of the order. Here's the, oh, Joe Torre is going to come in to play catcher. Man, a ground ball to Zimmerman. Throws the first out number two, one, and it's Ron Santo. And Larry Gardner is going to pinch hit. Strikes out Larry Gardner. Miguel Montero comes to the plate, and he grounds out to Eddie Matthews. Throws the first. It's going to be close, and he's safe. Beats it out. Miguel Montero beats out the infield single, so the tying runs on first base. Lou Brock is up two for four with a double and a home run. He's really uh, taking over here. The game, here's the pitch. And he just grounds a weak one to Zimmerman, but, oh, even Brock can't reach that. He can't beat that one out. So that ends the eighth inning. It's still five to four. And Pennick is going to face Horner, Mack, and Zimmerman. Here's the pitch. And Horner grounds at the banks, throws the first foul, number one. Here comes Shane Mack, the pitch. And he hits a sharp ground ball down the past the third baseman into the corner. Max is going to go to second. He's going for third, and he's going to have – oh, he's out at third base. So Shane Mack, it's a, he's credited for a double, but he makes the second out of the end at third base, trying to get that – extend that uh, – trying to extend the lead, and he just got a little too uh, greedy there. So a nice play from Billy Williams in left field to throw out uh, – make the, make the play at third base. So two outs now. His Heine Zimmerman. And he hits a fly ball to center field, and Lou Brock has it. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. One run is needed for T-Bolts to tie up the game and continue the game. Here's the pitch. Uh, we got Paul Paris. See if he says he's strong, so he's not coming out either. Here comes John Ulrud. And he hits a line drive to Mack, and that's going to be caught. A great play by Shane Mack in center field. And his Babe Ruth gets another shot at it. See if he can make do any kind of damage and try to help T-Ville tie this game up. Here's the pitch. And here's another base hit for Babe Ruth. Gets on base, his third hit of the game. And so he's three for four on the day. And here's Ernie Banks, who hit a home run last time. Let's see what happens if we see any dramatics here. Here's the pitch. Yeah, there's a fly ball to Mac, who's playing deep in center field, and he comes in on it and makes the play. And his Billy Williams who also has a home run today. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball to right field. Aaron's there, makes the catch, and that's the game. Hagerstown holds off the Blue Bolts 5-4. to four. And that does it for June 4th. And we have Eddie Matthews with one for three for the home, with a home run. Hank Aaron, two for four with a double. Ernie Banks, Billy Williams each had home runs, and Lou Brock as well. Babe Ruth is the story here, a three for four for T-Ville. As his, uh, his, you know, he's only got six at bats. He's hitting 500 now. And so now, Paul again, Paul Parrott for Hagerstown gets the win. He's 9-0, complete game. Who needs relievers in this in a, in a draft league, right? And we have Felix Hernandez is 2-5. and five. Loss uh, six and two, six point six and two thirds innings, five earned runs. Herb Panic came in, didn't give up a run for two and a third. And let's see what we got for injuries. Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. Well, that wasn't this game. Maybe there weren't any. Okay. So that's it for the fourth. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sim all the way to the end of the week. Um, we'll just go through the games. So we'll start with the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So we're just going to go one by one here. Uh, hopefully people watching uh, Florence and Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay with the win, 2-0. Lincecum 8-2 now. 
Tampa Bay moves to 33 and 23 and game and a half out of hit from Hadley Lake is Berlin and DGENs. <clears throat> DGENs beat Berlin to go to 22 and 31. Red Ames, the winner. Holmes with a home run is 15th. Hagerstown and Teville. Teville beats Hagerstown this time. Mike Timlin with the win is Chicago Hadley Lake. Chicago beats Hadley Lake 5 to 3. Kill Kenny, the winner. Bobby Veach for, for Hadley Lake gets the three for four with a home run. Lehigh and Dallas. Dallas beats Lehigh. Maddox 11 and 0. Unbelievable for Dallas. Uh, and there's the, uh, his uh, Liverpool and Cleveland. Liverpool shuts out Cleveland 9 to nothing. Eddie Seacott, the winner. Adrian Beltre, three for five with the second home run. Canada, Mid Michigan. Mid Michigan beats Canada 8 to 5. And Verlander, the winner. Oh, Grover Alexander gets his second loss of the year. And has Long Island and San Francisco. San Francisco wins and beats Long Island. And Chico's in Manchester. Chico's beats Manchester again. Briggs, four and two. Webb is seven and two. Scow run with his home run is Lancaster and St. Pete. Lancaster shuts out St. Pete. And then we have Carpathian and Edmonton. Carpathian beats Edmonton again. And Seymour has two home runs at 16 now. Rudy York is leading the league in the home runs with uh, 20. He has a Vegas and Amazing. Vegas takes care of Amazing 7-6. to six. And Chase Utley, the second, it was two home runs with eight for Amazing. So that does it for the fifth. I think that's the fifth. That's it. Let me just go back. Yeah, there's no other games. The sixth, we have Tampa Bay and Florence again. Tampa Bay beats Florence again. 11 innings. Hudek, the winner. And his Chico's in Manchester. Manchester comes back and beats Chico's 2-1. to one. And Lancaster, St. Pete. Lancaster, nine to nothing this time with St. Pete. St. Pete's having a tough time this season. Bert Hooten, the winner. A complete game, five strikeouts, shutout. DGENs in Berlin. Berlin beats DGENs two to one. Saberhagen, 0 and 7. But his ERA probably went down quite a bit, only giving up two runs. So, and Hagerstown and Teville. Hagerstown beats Teville, five to two. Chicago and Hadley Lake. Hadley Lake beats Chicago six to one. Dallas and Lehigh. Dallas beats Lehigh again. Two to one. So Dallas is um still t- staying on top first place there so far with the game so far. And we'll see if Liverpool can eat into that. And they do not, as Cleveland beats Liverpool eight to six. So Liverpool finds themselves a game and a half back now. Tampa Bay second game of a doubleheader against Florence. And Florence comes back and beats them. Um, and then we get Canada and Mid Michigan again. Mid Canada beats Mid Michigan three to one. Hal Newhauser, the win. Amazing in Vegas. Amazing comes back and beats Vegas. And we have San Francisco, Long Island. Long Island, San Francisco beats Long Island three to two. And then we have two games here for Carpathian and Edmonton. Edmonton takes the first one over Carpathian six to five. Seymour again with another home run. He's uh, really coming up in his game, too. Carpathian beats Edmonton 13-5. to So that does it for the sixth. And we go to the seventh. Only two games on the slate here for the seventh. We got Vegas, Chicago, Canada, Hadley Lake. And Chicago beats Vegas 4-3. to So Chicago's creeping up on 500 here. And Vegas is now 29 and 26, seven and a half games back. And his Canada Hadley Lake. And Canada takes care of Hadley Lake seven to one. So Dizzy Trout comes back and he's now four and four after going 0 oh, oh and four, I believe. And Winfield with a home run with his 15th. Well, Winfield helped him out there. And we go to the final day of the week, Sunday the 8th. And we got Vegas, Chicago again. 
Vegas comes back and beats Chicago 5-3. to three. Drysdale with his fifth win. And we have Manchester D-Gens. D-Gens beat Manchester. Josh Beckett 4-3. and three. Papelbon got his save. And Canada Hadley Lake again. Canada beats Hadley Lake 11-8. to eight, So Canada's hitting their stride here. And Tampa Bay Edmonton. And Edmonton beats Tampa Bay. Wow. Tampa Bay drops one. Cheeseboro, one and three. Langford is his fourth home run of the season. And Lehigh in Berlin. Lehigh's dropped a few games here. And they're going to beat the bag out of Berlin, 12 to one. Stottlemyre, 6 5. Max Lanier is now eight and four. George Foster, two for two home runs with a 16th. Um, T Ville and Liverpool. Liverpool beats T Ville. And Liverpool goes to one and, and we got, well, we got uh, Dallas has yet to play, but they're one game back. Cleveland, Long Island. Long Island beats Cleveland seven to one. St. Pete, Florence. Florence takes care of St. Pete. They're both 19 and, se- 19 and 37 now. Uh, they're both uh, heading for the for the um, lottery, I guess. Mid-Michigan, amazing. Mid-Michigan loses to amazing. Amazing is now 28 and 31. Hagerstown and San Francisco. San Francisco, wow, destroys Hagerstown 12 to 6. And Dallas and Chico's this is going to be a good game here. Dallas is in first place. Chico's is in first place. Dallas loses to Chico's. So it tightens everything up here. Uh, Liverpool's only a half game back now. And here comes Carpathian versus Lancaster for the final game of the Sim. And Lancaster takes care of Carpathian 8-2. to two. So that's it, man. Let's just... Um, that was quite a bit, a few games here. It's now 12.30. Let's look at the injuries. There were quite a few in the games I played. I'm sure there were a lot more. Let's see here. We injuries, current injuries. All right, so we got anybody. We have July 4th. Jose Pagan is out to July 4th. Gary Max on the 19th, July 4th. Also, Thurman Tucker, who's just played for Edmonton. He was basically for, for AG. July 8th, Kaz Matsui for Edmonton. And July, oh, July 16th, Willie McCovey for Florence. So that's tough. June 26th for Andy Semenik. Sixto Lescano is out to the 16th. Yogi Rare is out to the 15th. Roger Maris is the 12th. Wow, quite a few injuries here. Glenn Becker can't stay healthy. Um, Fred Lynn's out to the 11th. So that's the injury report. Edmonton's got four injuries. Florence has three. Yeah, so that's Edmonton's really getting bit by the bug at this point. All right, that's uh, that does it for me. I'm just going to... Hop, hop off of this now and get onto the Discord, no doubt, and uh, see how things go. But thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And I think Bernie Strom will be coming at you tomorrow for some more FOD action um, and uh, another week of simming. So have a good night, everyone. Thank you.